Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. As we already said that integration is the process of finding the original function from its derivative. Basically, we use integration is to find out the area under curve. One of such a application of definite integral in economics is to find out consumer surplus and producer surplus. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of consumer surplus as an application of definite integral. Consumer surplus is a measure of the welfare that people gain from consuming goods and services. It is defined as the difference between total amount that consumers are willing and able to pay for goods and services which is indicated by downward sloping demand curve and the total amount that they actually do pay that is market price. See here the simple law of economics that is law of demand and law of supply. The demand curve is decreasing or downward sloping means that lower prices are associated with the higher quantities demanded and the higher prices are associated with the lower quantities demanded. The supply curve is increasing or upward sloping means that the lower prices are associated with the lower supply and the higher prices are associated with the higher quantities supplied. The point where the demand and supply curves are crosses or intersect with each other is called the equilibrium point that is P star is the equilibrium price and Q star is the equilibrium quantity. As we already said that Consumer surplus is the difference between the price that consumer actually pay and the price that they are willing to pay which is shown by the area under the demand curve and the above the equilibrium price. The consumers on the left would have been willing to pay a higher price than they actually pay. So the equilibrium price saved them some sort of money. Graphically the amount of extra money that end up with in consumer pocket is area between demand curve and the horizontal line. Notice that the area under the horizontal line is a rectangle. Thus consumer surplus here is OQ star AP minus OQ star AP star which is equal to P star AP. If the demand function is given which is represented by different prices that consumers are willing to pay for a different quantities of goods and with the given equilibrium price and quantities. Consumer surplus can be mathematically calculated by the integral from 0 to Q0 f of Q dQ minus Q0 into P0 where f of Q is the demand function and Q0 and P0 are the equilibrium quantity and equilibrium price respectively. Consider a numerical example. Given demand function P is equal to 30 minus 4Q. Assuming that the equilibrium quantity that is Q0 is equal to 5 and we want to find out the consumer surplus. So for finding the consumer surplus, firstly we want to get the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. As the equilibrium quantity that is Q0 is equal to 5 which is given and we can calculate the P0 that is equilibrium price by substituting the value of Q0 on the demand function then it will get P0 is equal to 30 minus 4 into Q that is 5 so it will become 10. So the equilibrium quantity is equal to 5 and equilibrium price is equal to 10. After getting the equilibrium price and quantity which is 10 and 5 respectively the next step is to substitute these values and the demand function on the formula for calculating the consumer surplus which is equal to the integral from 0 to q0 f of q dq minus q0 and p0. So the consumer surplus is here integral from 0 to q0 that is 5 into f of q which is the demand function that is 30 minus 4 q dq minus q0 p0 that is 5 into 10. Here the integral of 30 minus 4q which is equal to 30q minus 4 into 1 by 2q square which is evaluated at the upper limit of 5 and the lower limit of 0 minus 5 into 10 which is equal to 50. So which is equal to 30q minus 2q square 
evaluated at the upper and lower limit minus 50. So if the value of Q is equal to 5, then it will become 30 into 5 minus 2 into 5 square minus substituting value of Q is equal to 0, 30 into 0 minus 2 into 0 square minus 50. So the consumer surplus is 150 minus 50 minus 0 minus 50. So which is equal to 100 minus 50 which is 50. So consumer surplus is calculated as 50. Let us consider the another example. In this example the demand and supply functions are given. The demand function is the PD which is equal to 25 minus Q square and the supply function PS which is equal to 2Q plus 1. Now we are going to assume that here the market condition is perfect competition and we want to find out the consumer surplus. In this example, the equilibrium price and quantities are not given and we want to calculate the equilibrium price and quantities. Here we are assuming that perfect competition market in which the equilibrium price and quantities are determined when the demand is equal to supply. So here the demand function that is PD is equal to supply function that is PS. So it is equal to 25 minus Q square is equal to 2Q plus 1. Taking the all values to the left hand side of the equation and make it equal to 0. Then it will become 25 minus Q square minus 2Q minus 1 which is equal to Q square plus 2Q minus 24 is equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation. By using the factorization method of solving this given quadratic equation, we will get Q plus 6 into Q minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, Q is equal to minus 6 and Q is equal to 4. Since the value of Q is equal to minus 6 which is not considered as it shows the negative quantity, we are considering Q is equal to 4. Now after getting Q0 is equal to or equilibrium quantity is equal to 4, we are going to substitute the Q is equal to 4 on the given demand or supply function. Here we are substituting on the demand function. Then PD or equilibrium price is equal to 25 minus 4 square which is equal to 25 minus 16 which is equal to 9. Therefore, the equilibrium quantity is equal to 4 and the equilibrium price is equal to 9. After getting the equilibrium quantity and price which is equal to 4 and 9 respectively, the next step is to substitute these values and the demand function on the formula for calculating the consumer surplus. Here you should note that whenever you are going to calculate the consumer surplus, then demand function is to be considered. So here the consumer surplus is equal to the integral from 0 to Q0 f of q dq minus q0 into p0 which is equal to the integral from 0 to q0 here it is 4 f of q that is given demand function that is 25 minus q square dq minus q0 into p0 which is 4 into 9. So the integral of 25 minus q square which is equal to 25q minus 1 by 3 q cube which is evaluated at the upper limit of 4 and the lower limit of 0 minus 4 into 9 which is equal to 36. Now we are going to substitute that is value of q is equal to 4 then it will become 25 q that is 4 minus 1 by 3 q cube that is 4 cube minus substituting q is equal to 0 that is 25 into 0 minus 1 by 3 into 0 square which is minus 36. So here the consumer surplus is equal to 100 minus 1 by 3 into 64 minus 0 minus 36 which is equal to 42.67. So here the consumer surplus is equal to 42.67. I hope you are clear about the concept of consumer surplus and how the consumer surplus is to be calculated. In the upcoming video, we will discuss the concept of producer surplus and how to find the producer surplus. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.